forget that, or as people who aren't powerlifters forget that like powerlifting isn't about just going heavy, heavy, heavy. It's about being explosive and being energized enough, being fresh enough to be as explosive as possible when you're trying to lift those heavier weights. But I'm still lifting like as hard as I can on 225 as I would on 425. Yeah. But I'm not doing 225 to all out max you know, for reps, you know, the AMRAP, as many reps as possible. But what you're doing is when you're, you do an RP type of workout, where you're doing three sets of eight on RP eight or nine. The RP eight is leaving two reps in the tank, so you have the strength and the athleticism to do it next week. Yeah. Because if I, if we try to put it on 85% or 90, if we try to do 95% of our max, and then try and go up five pounds each week, it would just get shittier and shittier and shittier. We wouldn't be able until to Until we wouldn't be able to recover. move the weight and our joints would be fucked. Like, we've had, you know, friends that have done that, or you probably see people that have done that, it's come heavy, 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 and then they got out of pilot because it's like, oh, pilot sucks, like that shit is just horrible for your joints. Yeah. It's like, okay, do you actually know how to power lift? Like, you know, have you read at strength training manuals or like beginner power lifting manuals or like just look at studies and stuff? It's like, well, they, it's, it's like, like the same thing with steroids, too. Like, people look at it as, oh, all steroids are bad, even though there's, there's actually a lot of good in them. Yeah, there's a lot of good in them. So, like, there's bad, but, like, people aren't looking into the full picture. They're just seeing what the bad is, and that's all they're taking in. Yeah, you can't, so you cannot do steroids without having some type of side effect, whether you see a side effect or whether the side effect is internal, like, your, your organs are going to get bigger, your heart's going to get bigger, your blood pressure will go up, yeah. you know, a momentarily or, you know, for a good three months or while you're using it or whatever. But obviously, like, you get big as fuck and you become more masculine, that's bad to go for you. Like, if you want to grow more, and you mentally there, can get better. And it's good if you can so well. Yeah. Well, yeah, you would get bigger, but you could also damage your natural production. Yeah. You know, steroids gives you exogenous amounts of testosterone. And then your body's like, oh, I don't need to make this shit anymore. Like, see you later. My job's already done because you already got some other shit going in. It's like, you gotta worry about that because you might do it too many times and then you're, you know, the well's gonna go dry, you know? Yeah. So but you still need water for the rest of your life. You know, you're still gonna need testosterone for the rest of your life. Yeah. So, like, you can't abuse it. If you're gonna use steroids, look into it, you know, make an educated um, choice on it, you know, decision on it. Um, and do it properly, you know, mitigate the amount of damage as much as you can. And like, kind of like what also, like, do you want to have kids? You know, that's the thing you got to watch out for. It's like, you're going to adopt in the future or like, you're never going to have kids with your wife. It's like, because you want to get big, bro. It's yeah. like, you don't need to jump right in there. Like Dave was saying to you, you got so much potential. Like, we both got so many years. Yeah. But we don't need it. I'm like, looking at the end goal way too much. And I got to be focused on next week and tomorrow yeah. and just like doing eating right like i swear is almost obviously child's good at steroids but like eating right does so much for you like if you feel good you're looking good you're losing fat and like you're getting stronger like every week you know yeah it's gonna be because of your diet and your sleep you know so the two more important two yeah. two most important things yeah and then you got probably lifting after that yeah and everybody can lift like if you go to the gym, you know, that's the easy part, is I get into the gym three to five times a week. What people don't do is rest properly. They, you know, stay up till 2 a.m. and they're playing video games, you know. People don't eat properly. And they're like, they just fucking yesterday. I'm just like, oh, I'm going to eat perfectly clean this week, you know, all the way up to the meat. And it's like, you know, we were working out here for a long time. We had a good time. But, like, I could, still could have made something later tonight. But I was just like, you know what? I'm fucking starving. I need 1,600 calories. Let's go to Taco Bell. You know, we went to Taco Bell. And it's going to be impossible for me to be perfect, yeah. but all we need to do is be better. That's it. Be better than you were yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Compare yourself to yourself. That's it. Yeah. And this morning I had a banana, four egg omelet with cheese, and like ketchup, and some fucking my water, my green tea, you know. I had like three omelets. The five omelets. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it goes back to what we were saying, you know, just getting better, yeah. you know. But I mean, three almonds? <laughs> I don't know, it was like Why a handful. Three? It was like a handful. I grabbed them out of the bag. A handful is not three. Well, I don't what know. Size your I, <laughs> fine, seven almonds. I don't seven. know. But uh, um, I was like, I was better than yesterday because instead of like going right to my phone, 
like, I mean, obviously, I texted you about the stuff, but, like, I opened my devotional before I went on my Instagram. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, kind of thing. And that's more important than just going right on my phone. And that's a big goal as well. Like, there, in personal training, there's, like, what, what's it called? There's, like, process goals, and then there's, like, the end goals. I can't remember the terminology of it. So, basically, you have process goals, and you have other goals. It's, like, you have one type of goal where it's, like, I want to hit 300 pounds on deadlift. But then... You have a process goal where it's like hitting legs twice a week. There's no yeah. number or anything or no really objective, but it's just like changing how you do things, changing your discipline about certain shit. Yeah. Um, making, switching your tendencies and switching your own, um, switching up your lifestyle. But what's the word? Um, fuck, I can't remember what the word is. I have no idea. Your habits, changing your lifestyle oh. habits. Be better for yourself. Yeah, that's like a process goal. It's like eating um, fruits three times a day. You know, that's a process goal. People, and just like your devotional, it's like, okay, look at my devotional every day, you know, before I look at my phone. You know, because yeah. what's more important, your relationship with the guy upstairs or fucking look some TikTok guy? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's all you're going to see if you go on TikTok. It's like, exactly. just fucking half naked women I mean, and even, just like pointless shit. Even, yeah, like, you know. Like being an influencer kind of thing, that's important, but again, out of everything, God's giving you what you need in life, he's yeah. more important than all, all that, no matter what it is. Yeah, and dude, kind of doing this influencer shit is like, I want to post my shit, and I need to get the fuck out of the way from like the social, like, just post my shit, get away. Yeah, now I want, yeah. I don't want to be influenced by all the negative shit out there, and yeah. it's like, I follow who I want to follow, but like my recommended shit, it's like, I don't want to see any of that, like why is the algorithm showing me all this shit? I mean, mine's fine, but it's just more like, oh, I watch a video, I'm like, this is the last video, and then I actually start up, and there's another video, but I'm like, oh, this is interesting, yeah. and then... And you're like stuck there for another, it's been an hour, and then you're sitting like in your bed at like 12 o'clock. Yeah. And you're like, wow, I could have been like, you know, working on a wheel, like stretching, eating something. Like, I don't know, not really eating since 12 a.m., but um, you know, reading the Bible, you know, just something like that instead of just looking through pointless. Yeah. I keep on saying that I want to get a flip phone. And I would still need to use my iPhone for like social media and shit. But like, I've heard so many people say that they got a flip phone and like just changed their life. Cause it's like, there's just no fucking distractions. Well, you gotta, like, it's just, like, it's like, it's like the 90s, you know? Yeah. Well, 90s, there were still phones, but you know what I mean? There was no iPhone, there was no social media. Like, social media was a good tool, and now it's just fucking. I mean, it really also depends on like how disciplined you are. I mean, yeah, I can't talk because like that stuff is distracting or whatnot, but. Yeah, like, I mean, I'd never get a football, but I just need to be more disciplined and be like, hey, cut my hours back. Cut this off, post reel, whatever. Check the Discord. I mean, you're gonna be interactive with Discord or whatnot, so that's my full strength and alpha line stuff, but. Yeah. They're gonna focus on what's important. Yeah. Stretching is important. I'm stretching. I'm a stretching. <laughs> I just didn't stretch very long. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click that bell to get notified whenever I post a video. It's going to be a new thing now. I'm no longer just doing the Instagram reels. We post videos. Um, we'll try to get one out a week. That's going to be the goal. So uh, remember, code Nathan7 on your whole strength orders. And code Nathan7 for Alpha Line. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And you guys have a good one.